I thought I should add some video to this piece of work that I entered. So on exam one, I'm going to ask you this, uh, this kind of question. Um, I might be asking this of you on a, on a quiz too. I, I don't, I honestly don't remember, but I know I ask you this on the exam. So here's the best way that I find um, how to deal with expressions. See, this is a, this is a, what's, what are we seeing here? I see I got piecewise find function. I don't want to create a piecewise find function. That I don't need to. Um, I mean, because what if, what if I was, if my intention was to make this be a circle, a semicircle, and it kind of looks like a parabola. But so anyway, I didn't, I didn't want you. That way you don't have to make that interpretation. Just think about what's happening here with this transformation. And when I wrote, I said, I was, I said, try working inside and moving out to, to talk about the, about the transformation. So I gave you this, what's happening What's the description. So I see, I'm going to work inside the argument, you know, F of X, I'm taking F of X and doing this to it, right? So I'm shifting it right to, see, I'm inside, start inside first, then thinking about order of operations, moving out, I get a multiply by two. So I stretched it vertically by a factor of two. And then I'm changing the sign of that stretch. So it's reflecting around the x-axis because it's outside. And then lastly, I'm going to move it up one because that's what I would do, right? I'm going to start inside the parentheses. Then I do multiplication. And two and negative two are both multiplication. And then I'm going to do addition and subtraction. There, there's the one. So that's, that's how you want to think about that by talking about it. Then how do I sketch the result? Well, so I'm going to just, because I've got some discrete points here, um, I mean, I certainly don't want to write the equation and do that. Um, so I get some discrete points here. So I'm going to start here. It says move it right to, so I did that. And then I'm stretching it by a factor of two, but Y is zero. So two times zero is zero. So that's not moving. And then because it's on the X axis, I don't reflect it because it's on the X axis. Then I shift it up one. So this point transforms to this point. That's why I try to make it green. Um, so the next one, next point. So I'm going to move it, move it right to. I'm going to stretch it by a factor of two. So two times two is four. Then I'm going to reflect it around the x-axis. So it gets kicked down here to negative four. Then I move it up one. So that's how I plotted that next point. And now you probably see. So I'm going to move move this one at the origin right to. Again, it's on the x-axis, so if I multiply it by two, it doesn't change. And if I reflect around the x-axis, it doesn't change. And I shift it up one. Then the last point is this one here, right two, multiply it by two to stretch it, change the sign, flicks it, flicks, moves it down here, and then up one. So this, this graph here looks like this now. Okay, so maybe this will help you get that question right on the exam or make better, better sense of how to describe these transformations. You know, um, like I said, what works for me, best for me, is I said, I, I start inside, and the, inside the argument, inside, see the F of whatever we're dropping in to the X value, that's the argument, or, yeah, right? So I think this is a long enough video, I'll stop.